Hey folks, this is Tobias, and today I'm going to do a demo for you of a new tool that I built for Unreal Engine um, using Houdini. Um, so, I'm part of a couple of game jams going on right now, and one of the team members uh, the other day was asking about how to go about making modular cliff walls without having to spend a lot of time modeling it every piece. Uh, so basically they wanted a way to do this quickly uh, for layout design. Um, so I put together this little tool that would help them out and uh, here we go. We're going to walk through it a little bit. Uh, so what we have is this uh, HDA uh, that I've made which you'll need Houdini Engine for to uh, to run it inside of Unreal Engine. But once you have it in here uh, you have some options here. Uh, you can control basic things like the shape of the wall and whatever you like to do. Uh, I'm going to go with something that's a little bit more obvious uh, like this and uh, you have some shaping controls uh, for this uh, so we can do a soft bend on the x-axis here um, and there's some controls here for that so you can see you could dial this in here, create different shapes you want. So if you wanted kind of like a bowl uh, shape to your to your wall, you could do something like that. Uh, you also have the ability to bend it on the y-axis, uh, so you can do things like overhangs or you know swoop backs kind of thing. Uh, let's do like an overhang example here. So something like that. Uh, and then uh, if you want to do like a hard corner, uh, I've made that option available to you as well. So you can do more uh, discrete uh, corners in the uh, negative direction there. Okay, so you can build these pieces out and make them to where you want it. Now, of course, this doesn't look like a wall. So you're probably looking at that going, wow, this tool sucks. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Here we go. Uh, let me turn off this hard corner first. I don't want that kind of look. Um, so let's see. All right, so I've added the options for you to be able to control uh, sort of larger details to medium details and small details. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with some of the large details here. And uh, we're going to use a high number here. So we can control the shape of what this wall looks like uh, in the large uh, features, right? So we have this kind of like undulating sweep here. Uh, and say we like that. Um, We'll go with that, but you'll have these settings here. Uh, then we can go into more of the the medium details here to add some distress or uh, you know more uh, breakup to the to the features here. So say something like that is what you were looking for. Um, that'd be cool. And then for the small details, you can add in some more. Uh, break up there. So I don't, I don't know how well you can see that, but let me just go ahead and sort of turn this uh, so you can see it. And this is all parametric, of course. So you can change all these features, you know, depending on what you like, um, of course. And it will update uh, as you want it to. And of course, if you decide you, you get a look that you like, um, say this is a bit too much. And say that's something that you like. You can still go back and edit the shape if you want. You know, so put the bend in the shape like that. Uh, you know, change how the the overhang is. Maybe change it to a, more of a swoop back kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> you know, whatever you want to do to your heart's content. All right, something like that, or something like this, and it'll it'll recook everything, and uh, you'll get what you're looking for. Um, nice and quick and easy and as a last little feature I've added a uh, poly reducing here you will lose a little bit of detail but the idea here is to get this uh, down to about uh, half of the polygons uh, that are used to create the original geometry um, as it is the tool uh, creates these walls at about you know anywhere from 30 to 40 thousand polygons uh, this will get you down to about you know 15 to 20 uh, so this is obviously meant to be more of a hero asset, uh, you know, in your in your layout as you're walking into an environment. And yeah, so once once you sort of dial in what you're looking for, uh, the way that you generate the model for that is you just come up to the asset here and you go to the bake. And by default, it's on actor. So what it'll, 
what will happen when you do this is uh, it will generate a model for you in the Houdini Engine Bake folder uh, so that you are able to just simply grab that and drag it in wherever you want it. So I've made some other ones here just to show you as an example. I won't drag them in. Um, but there you go. So you can create your own assets uh, here and bring them in and texture them however you like and set up your environment and your level and you're all set. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.